From our Center for the Arts studio, this is your AU TV 20 Sports Break. I'm David Amston. Thank you for tuning in. The number three seeded Ashland University women's volleyball team was upset by the number six seeded Davenport Panthers in the GLIAC quarterfinal. Before Ashland's loss yesterday, the Eagles were 25 and 5 with a nine game winning streak. The last seven of those games were won in straight sets. The Eagles met with the Panthers twice during the regular season and won both times 3 to 1 in the first game and 3 to nothing the second. Junior outside hitter Shelby Wojcik led the Eagles with 20 kills. Senior libero Caitlin Bean added 24 digs, while freshman setter Zoe Peck ended the night with 59 assists. The Eagles were previously ranked 7th in the Midwest region and will await the decision for an at-large berth to the postseason tournament. The NCAA will release the rankings this Sunday night at 10 o'clock. The Ashland University Athletic Department promoted Heather Gable to be the new Assistant Director for Administrative Services and Senior Women's Administrator. This is Gable's second year in the AU Athletic Department and was initially hired as the Administrative Assistant. Gable was a collegiate softball player for Northwest Missouri State and North Alabama. Gable will be involved in game management, sport oversight, budget oversight, and strategic planning. Along with those duties, Gable will be on the Ashland University Hall of Fame Committee. And the Ashland University football team will compete in their final game of the season on Saturday at 1. The Eagles will host the 3-7 Northern Michigan Wildcats. The Wildcats are tied for the last place in the GLIAC with a 1-6 conference record. This will be the Eagles' senior day, and tickets can be purchased at the gate or on GoAshlandEagles.com. That's it for this AUTV20 sports break. Be sure to follow us across social media at AUTV20. I'm David Amston. Thank you for watching.